Hi, this is Jen from Codespeak Labs. Today we're going to show you how to make a simple chatbot in Scratch. So here you can see what a final project would look like. A chatbot is basically like a Siri or Alexa, where it can respond to you. So here's the cat. I click on him. It asks me, what's my name or what's your name? I type in Jen. It says, hello, Jen. So it remembers my name. It's responding. It asks, are you okay? I say yes. And it says, that's good, Jen. Do you want to see me dance, Jen? I say yes. Ooh. Then does a little dance. So as you can see, it's acting as if it's human, as if it remembers what I'm saying and is res responding accordingly. Um, so I'll show you how to start off on that project using these three big programming concepts, input, output, if, else, and variables. Let's start by opening up a new project in Scratch. Great. So to start us off, we go under events and we choose when this sprite is clicked. So that's how everything gets started. And first it asks me, what's your name? And it waits. Now I want to create a variable. And a variable is something where you can store something. And so in this case, I want it to store and remember what the user says their name is. So now that I've created a variable, I can set the name to answer. And so in this way, the cat will remember the name. Then I'm going to say, hello. And then I, I want it to say the person's name. And the reason is it's much more personalized in doing that. So I need to use this join block, which combines two things. So it says, hello world as the default. And instead of world though, I want to replace it with the variable name. And that way it'll say my name. Okay, let's check the code to make sure it's working. So it says, what's your name? Hello, Jen. Great. Great, that's working. Okay, so now I want to ask a new question. So let's ask, are you okay? And this time, I actually want it to respond in different ways depending on what the user says. And that's what really gives it the feeling that it's acting human. So we're going to use an if else statement. So if the person says yes, then some things will happen else. So that means otherwise. So if the person says anything other than yes, then something else happens. So first I need an operator block. Oops. So what I actually want to do is okay, if the person says yes, the way that I write that in Scratch is saying, okay, if the user's answer is yes, so I can just type that in here, then I'll have it say, that's good, Jen. So again, because I want it to use the variable name, I need to actually use this join block. That's good. And then I put it, I need to put a space there. Then now what should I have it say? If you don't answer that you're okay. So I'm just going to have it say, that's bad, Jen. I'm sure you can think of something much more creative. Join. It's bad. Okay. 
Great. So let's see if this code works. What's your name? Hello, Jen. Great. Are you okay? So let's first check if the yes part is working. That's good, Jen. Awesome. Okay. So let's now check if the else part is working. Are you okay? So this time I'm going to say no. Let's see what happens. That's bad, Jen. Oh, so if you notice, that's bad and Jen were squished together. And that's because I didn't have a space here. So let's say I add that space. I check the code again. And let's see if it works. And I'll say no. And that's bad, Jen. Great. Awesome. So as a challenge assignment, why don't you go ahead and ask another question and do another if else statement? Thanks so much for watching. And if you have any questions, contact Codespeak Labs. I'll put our information down below. Thank you.